So today I'll be talking about a very critical part of inverter solar system. I'll be talking about charge controllers and today I'll specifically talk about um, MPPT charge controller. Of course, there are two types. Uh, I decided I'm going to begin to, you know, draw from the world of the experience I have and start talking about key components and things you should know about inverters. And when it comes to that, today I'm going to practically show you a charge controller and I'm specifically talking about MPPT charge controller. These days, I will always advise you to go for an MPPT charge controller for several reasons I'm going to explain in the video. So today is I'm going to open it up. I'm going to lose and open an MPPT charge controller and tell you about the technology, how it works, what's inside. Then after this, you will have a clear knowledge of what the MPPT MPPT uh, charge controller is. So let's jump in. So MPPT is a more modern technology for uh, charge controllers. You know, we have the PMW, but even in MPP3, the newer one, the older one I have here has fan. This is the same company, the same product, but the other one is just a heatsink. Uh, but I'm old school, so I always prefer something that has a cooling fan uh, when it comes to inverter and charge controllers than the ones that don't. Now, um, let's talk about the, the two types of charge controller. First of all, you cannot connect your solar directly to battery. Of course, your solar can charge the battery directly, but then there has to be a intelligent circuit system to make sure that the solar does not overcharge the battery or that the battery does not kill the solar panel. And that's where charge controllers come in. Some inverters, hybrid inverters have it built in, but I usually prefer to have dedicated charge controllers that deliver, specify to deliver some level of current and they go all out and give out that level of current it is very very important for me so this is mpp3 so it uses a specialized system and technology uh, there is capacitor there there are special transformers and there's other two capacitors in this one and what it does is that it actually converts the power uh, that comes in from the panel. Here is where you can add more panel in series. You can get up to, it can handle uh, 60 volts, it can handle 100 volts, 120. This one can actually handle a maximum of 160 volts. So make sure that your connection in series does not surpass the maximum number of voltage. So once you get to that voltage, then you can also do another one that will be in terms of a parallel uh, so you don't exceed that. Also, they are rated to know the amount of wattage they can carry uh, in different different voltage configuration so it's important you understand that so what the mppt does is that it actually does some conversion charge controller looks at the output of the panels and compare it to the battery voltage then it figures out the best uh, power that the panel can put out to charge the battery it takes this power converses to the best voltage to get the maximum amps into the battery i mean remember it is the amp inside the battery that matters <laughs> when they call wattage and all that is the amp in the battery that goes into the battery that matters most and what is the advantage of this over the PWM, uh, that's pulse wave uh, modulation, the, the other type of charge controller? Pulse wave modulation charge controller will just take whatever they get from the panel and feed it. And they don't require high voltage connection. So it can be very good for like when you're in a battery or in a car where you just want this thing to just convert and charge something you do that. But if you're not, then you might need an MPPT because MPPT can convert SS voltage into more amps, resulting in about 30 percent more power generation than a pwm if the distance is long use mppt if you have more number of solar panels and you have more battery to charge that you need to charge quickly you have to use mppt if you also want to have a quick charger if you want to charge the battery quicker and use mpp3 if you have lower sunshine or shades and all that use mpp3 it's gonna serve you better than pwm so that's it. If you are using inverter in a place that there is not the best of sunshine, there's a distance from the roof to where your inverter is going to stay or charge controller, you should go for MPPT uh, charge controllers and make sure you get from a good brand because there are some MPPTs there that are not high quality, not delivering a lot of strong current to the batteries. So keep that in mind. And then feel free to ask me any question if I have anything uh, to ask about inverter. Then I'll be in the comment section waiting for you. Until I see you in the next video it is peace to our world subscribe I'll see you.